If you need to figure out your finances and you want to use a calculator, Windows Vista has a calculator that you can use. Also, Microsoft Excel is a program that you can go into and actually do some calculations as well. But to focus on the calculator, you want to click on the Start button and click in the Instant Search and go ahead and type in Calculator. When you're finished, it pulls it up, up at the top here. Just go ahead and click on it to open it up. There's my calculator. Now the nice thing about the calculator, besides the obvious that you can use it here, is that you can actually copy the numbers in here and paste it in a Word document. For example, I'm going to right click to open this up with WordPad. Left click WordPad, it opens up right. Okay, that's in front of my calculator, but I'm going to come down here on the taskbar and click on calculator so it pops ahead of my WordPad document, so now that's behind. You can punch in numbers by using your mouse or you can use your keypad on your keyboard. Just make sure that you have your numbers lock key on. So if I use my keyboard, I'll just move my mouse off over here and type in 45,000, okay. Then hit the plus sign, of maybe 22, and then hit enter, and then it gives me my number, okay. Now to copy that, you can come up here and click on the edit and do copy. Notice the shortcut key, control C. And let me just do control C. And then let me click somewhere in my document here. Say this is the amount. And then let me do Control V as in Victor to paste it, or just come up here and click on the paste board and actually paste the number in there, doesn't it? Now, of course, I'll have to add in my dollar sign and then maybe put in my comma here and then click after here and put in zero zero for my pennies. And in any case, my calculator is very helpful. Click on the uh, calculator button again down the taskbar and then to clear it just hit the letter C. And like I said you can come in here and punch on the numbers with your mouse if that's helpful and times it by any other numbers and click equals that works as well. And finally if you use your calculator a lot instead of uh, let me close out of here and close out of the document as well and be sure to save my work it warns me if I close out of it before I save it click save. I can add the calculator to my desktop as a shortcut so I can double click on it or add it down here on my quick launch bar. All I have to do is click on the start button again, find my calculator. I can come in here in the instant search box down below and type in calculator. And then up here I can right click on it and say add to my quick launch toolbar. That's one way. When I click add it will add it down here. Or I can come down here and say send this as a shortcut to my desktop. Or I can just click and drag it to my desktop. But you notice when I click and drag it, it says move to the desktop. I don't want to move this to my desktop. I just want it as a shortcut. So I'll let it go back up here and I'll just right click and say send it to my desktop. And it creates a shortcut. It doesn't move the whole program over. It just creates a shortcut to the program. So I can just double click on it to open it up and close out. In fact, I can also right click on it and say pin it to the start menu or add to the quick launch. Let's pin it to the start menu. Let's right click and add it to the quick launch. Now I have it down here my quick launch. If I click on my expandable button down here for my quick launch, there it is. Opens it up, close out. It's also pinned to my start menu. When I click on the start menu, it's pinned up here at the top in the permanent section. If you haven't watched the training videos on that, it's at the beginning. Go ahead and watch those videos. And then I can always right click to remove from the list. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.